Pete are now participating in local Topia this weekend in hopes of rebounding from the pandemic. ABC Action News is committed to showcasing the positive stories of our local businesses bouncing back. In this rebound report, ABC Action News reporter Rebecca Petit hears from local business owners who say this festival is a much needed boost. Local Topia is St. Pete's largest festival showcasing all things local. Last year's event was the biggest ever held with nearly 300 vendors. This year, Local Topia may not be as large, but it's the most important. Those vendors, uh, many of whom are makers, uh, their past year, uh, their livelihoods depended on the markets, on the events, the festivals like this that have them happen. Kawa Coffee is one of the 170 vendors participating in Local Topia on Saturday. Like many small businesses, this past year has been tough on them. They tell me Local Topia is the shot in the arm their business needs. We have a really good product that, you know, people taste it one time and they're sold. So it's really, this is really good for us to get our name out there a little bit more. Though local Topia will look different this time around. There are going to be set entrances at which masks will be checked and uh, thermometer readings will be done. Vendors are grateful it wasn't canceled. This is our busiest event, event of the year. So we really, you know, we're very happy that we're still able to do it. And uh, hopefully a lot of other vendors will see a profit from it as well. Local Topia is tomorrow from 10 to 5 at Williams Park. I'm Rebecca Petit for ABC Action News.